All right, y'all, we are back, and I know y'all excited. So for those of you who know this lady that's right here on this stage, oh, my gosh, what can I say about Miss Lucinda? She's an entrepreneur. She is a motivational speaker and a best-selling author who tells it like it is. That's why we told y'all, go on and hold on to y'all the edges because she about to snatch them, okay? She is a certified business coach and a TV lifestyle expert. She's the CEO of two personal and professional professional development companies, Activate Worldwide LLC and ActivateYourLife.org. That includes The Big Ask, which we in Work University have read twice, We Nation and Activate Your Life Leadership Training. Miss Lucinda, it is my honor to give you this stage because they're not ready for what you're about to give them right now. Oh my gosh. Listen, listen. I heard this is this is I heard this is the work space, right? This is the work space with the E. So I'm I'm just excited to be here with you this afternoon. We're gonna do an exercise shortly, but I want us to get very clear on what our big ask. We're gonna get clear on what type it in the chat. Our big ask. Type it in. If you know you got a big ask, type that in the chat. Say I have a big ask. Just, just type it in there. I have a big, my ask is big. It's, we don't play. This is not, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't go to Miami to get this ask. This, this ask is big. This, this ask, uh-uh. This is not, mm-mm, mm-mm. It ain't, I don't need a lift for this ask. I don't need, uh-uh, uh-uh. This is, I have a big ask. Put it in the chat. I have a big ask. Listen, listen here, right? And so we are, talking today about your big ask, what does it mean? And now that we are approaching um, second, uh, fourth quarter, which is creeping up behind us, you know, just to say, you know, creeping up in front of us to, to make sure that we're in position because it's not over yet, right? It's not over. And so I know that you have learned so much throughout this journey and you still have tomorrow. I've been tuning in as much as I could. I'm in the supermarket. I came back to get some of this work. I went to make some breakfast and I came back and get some of this work. I went to the cleaners and I came back to get some of this work, right? So there's no excuse. If I could have brought this and had Wi-Fi on demand on my laptop, I wanted to make sure that I don't care what title, how many accolades, there's always work to do. Type it in there, W-E-R-K. We're not talking about W-O-R-K. That's just your regular, okay? That's program. That W-O-R-K, that's, all right, what do I need to do? That's a job. That's on your job description. We're talking about the work. Hmm. That requires you to show up in excellence with the E. Hello, somebody shows you that you have to be entertained. That's with the E. Yes, you have to be excited and enthused even when you don't have a client. That's the E. The work is the energy. The work is when you show up and you don't even know if you're going to make a dollar. Right. The work is saying, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm I'm betting on myself this season and this year. So enough with me talking. Let's talk about your big ask. I want everybody to write down real quick, 10 ask that they'll have before the year is out. Take a moment, write it down. 10 ask, 10 ask, write it down. Write it down, take a picture, do what you do. Write it down, 10 ask. You have literally, and I'm not gonna do the full exercise because I wanna do something special for the workathon. Hello, amen, somebody. So write down 10 ask when you're done, say I'm done. 10 ask, need to lose 10 pounds, get a new car, fix my credit, boost it up 20 points, put something in my savings. What is your ask? 10 ask. Ten ask. When you're done, type done. Matter of fact, when you're done, <laughs> type work. The work. Yes. We're going to play something to get y'all excited while you're writing down your 10 asks. Keep it simple, please, and make sure your ask pertain to you. No one else. Don't put down what you need to do with your kids, what you need to do for your man, what you need to. And now if you try, if your goal is, listen, I'm going to get my man to put that, put him down, put him down. But 10 ask, 10 ask. Going to eat healthier. That's an ask. Okay. 10 ask. You have, a, you have one more minute. To work this out. Mm, it's a lot of money in this spot. What? What? Hey, write it down. We don't play here. Ah, uh, write it down. You should be at five now. 
Yeah, yeah, we cursing today. Tomorrow it might not be no cursing on it, but just get it. I can't wear the shoe you bitches wear because it's cheap. Hey. Just some money at my table, grab a seat. Write it down. Get that work. You should you should have at least eight written down now. Two more, two more left. Push it. Push it out. Push it out. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money out here. It's waiting for you. Get it. See how I'm working that chair? Get it. Mm, we working it right from our computers. To the bodega. Mm. Hey. Whole lot of money. All right. All right. So we should have 10 ass down if you didn't. Too bad. Too slow. Money loves speed. Repeat after me where you, wherever you're at. Money loves speed, but it needs direction. Money loves speed, but it needs direction. Meaning that where do you want your money to come from and where is it going to go? It needs to know, am I going into Chase? Am I going into TD Bank? Am I going into People's Bank? Am I going into your crypto? Where, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Because if not, money is going to come and money is going to go. All right? And so, yes, money loves speed and it needs direction. Meaning that we don't have time to keep thinking about thinking about it to think about it. How many more campaigns are we going to create? How many more workshops are we going to attend? Enough is enough. Let's get this money. You want to make some money. You want to get this work. Then you need to sell something. Show something. Remember show and tell when we was kids? So you wrote down your 10 ask. Yes. Now what I want you to do is you're going to take looking at looking at your list. Make sure that list is all you. It's all you right? She says she put on her jewelry just to go to Bodega. It's all you. That means there's no time to not shine. No time to not shine. Not at all. Not at all. We literally have to be it. Yeah, we have to be it. You just went through a whole marketing. What you just heard from that, from what's her name? Monray? Monray? I, I just want to call her money. <laughs> marketing money. Like when what we just heard from her, uh, the, the the jewels that she dropped, the, the bags that she dropped just now, it will only work if you start putting it into action without thinking about it. I need some of you to get out of your minds. You too, you too much here. You too much here and here. Oh, well, I don't feel like this is the time. Money's not going according to feelings. Rich is not saying, oh, do you feel like waking up? Do you feel like this will work? You're not sure. Listen, you keep trying. Until it adds up, we serve a God who believes in addition, not division, not subtraction. All he does is just add, add on. Okay, so you wrote down 10. I need you to take the next minute, right? I need you to take the next minute and um, you're going to cross out five, okay? Okay. You're going to cross out five. One minute starting now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey. See, what happens here is, yeah, you may not need no other body, but we're connected. These five you crossing out, you don't need them right now. Come on, let's go. Five, cross five out. 30 more seconds, let's go. Hey, not them five, not right now. Not that, not right, not right now. You're going to keep five, but you're crossing out the five off. Mm. We got to get focused. We got to get focused because we need this ass to come. Hey, I wine. Put work when you're done. You got about 12 seconds left. I'm keeping time. Hey, put work when you're done. Hey, hey. All right, all right. This is what I'm talking about. This 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 audience right here, this digital audience is not playing. Y'all not playing. Okay, okay, Cole. <laughs> Got them time. Uh, listen, let's take a sip. Okay. Mm. 
You got five left. We have to stay extremely focused when it comes to what our true ask is. And a lot of times when it comes to creating a vision and doing vision boards and goals, winners create goals. They say, you know what? I was able to do this mile. The next time I'm going to challenge myself for another two, three miles. Then I'm going to challenge myself. So what happens with some of us? I hear this all the time with entrepreneurs. Lucinda, I want to be, I want to have a six figure business. I said, but did you make three figures yet? And we said, did you make three figures? Go sell something. Let's get this work. Go sell something. We got to sell this thing. One thing we got to respect. Listen, there's two on the other side, uh, hustles that we got to give some respect to. And I don't care. Don't get in your feelings. Listen, we're going to say it close because I don't want my kids hearing Drug dealers and prostitutes. All right. Sue me later. One thing about a prostitute, you can say what you want. She may, you, some of us may say, oh, she don't understand her value, but you ain't touching her until you cut a check, small or large. Some of you have been given everything, the kitchen sink, your panties, everything, and you ain't charging nothing. You're not selling nothing, not a thing. You ain't get three figures yet, but you're trying to get to four. Get to three. Bust that three down, say my next goal is to get five figures. Sell something for $100. Then let's talk about selling it for a thousand. They're saying, you know what? This thousand is good. I know what I bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I twerk it. I work it. I'm showing everything I got. Listen, the bathing suit on cold sight, that's about 40. Listen, mm, hair, nails, lashes, edge control, all this costs just to show up and do one video and you're going to do it for free? A prostitute ain't even doing it for free. Come on. Where you, what you talk, where you at? Stop. We got to stop prostituting our gifts, giving that stuff out. Drug dealers, the other people that you got to look at. Yeah, they destroying the community, but sell something. Drug dealers go through four phases. You're going to get a little sample. Some of y'all give somebody a sample of what you have to bring to the table. You expecting this client. They don't trust you just yet. They don't know if they can get high, if it works in their system. Show them that your coaching works. Show them that your Yoni products work. Show them that they could look good with your hair on and it's going to keep it, keep them looking fly. Show them that the lashes is great quality. Show them that the candles smell long and they have longevity. Show them that the t-shirt is a good quality. Show them something. Give them a little sample. I do pilots and beta programs all the time. If it don't work the way that I expect it to work, we're not doing a program. Then I wait it out. Listen to my audience and try it again. But the beta people still have to pay for. I'm running a pilot right now. They still have to pay for it. Whether it's $500, $1,500. And I tell them, listen, get in the beta now. Eight people, $497. You get in right now, I'm going to give you it all. But you're going to get us a little sample. But once I launch this thing, ah. Uh, so you start out with the little sample. Drug deals, they give a little sample. I remember back in the days, I was like, you know, I was trying to be grown, trying to smoke weed at 16. I'm like, they used to sell tray bags. That's too much for y'all because y'all want to be past this tonight. But anyway, the next phase is you upgrade to something that's a, high, a little higher price, but still cost effective. Where's your $10 something? Where's your $20 something? Get some people in. I don't care if they got to take a survey and an assessment on your site, charge for it. The next thing is a higher price because now they want to celebrate it and, and bring it out to more people and maybe it has, ha, adds more value. Put in added value. That's the third level. The fourth level is now they're recruiting. Ah, so we went from selling the, the sample to now giving something of value that I could get more people in. So say you get 100 people at $100. Shut up, somebody. Come on. That's good money. That's a goal right there. Third phase. You say, you know what? I'm selling them by the brick. I, I got bundles now. You see how Cole put out those bundles? I got bundles now. I've got so much content that I've bundled it together. You want the bundle? Oh, I'm going to give you a good price for it. Come talk to me. Come talk to me. Then the next thing is to say, you want to be a part of this. Let me train you to do what I'm doing because I'm, I'd rather be in Hawaii sipping a Mai Tai and you making some money. I make some money. We can all make some money at this table. That part. So you have your five left, right? I want you to take the next, this one is going to take another two minutes. I want you to take the next two minutes to um, cross out. I'm not going to give you that long. You're going to get one minute 
to cross out two. And when you're done, I want you to put, um, get money in the chat, okay? Put, put get money in the chat. Cross out two. Yeah, we're not censoring it today. Y'all grown. Y'all was cursing when y'all was 10. Cut it out. Yeah. Mm, mm. Get money. What? Mo on my. Cross out two. You should have three left. What? B I G. Big ask, y'all. Let's go. You should have three left. 30 seconds. Bracelets to match. Showed you the safe combination and all that. What? Do y'all know what y'all just got so far for two days? Cole opened up the combination. She said, show you the safe combination and all that. Mm. Woo! That's hot. That's hot. I think I'm going to make her pay me for that one. That was hot. Showed you the safe combination and all that. When people start opening up their resources, I'm going to tell you, when I started in the game in 2006, I know, I know I look 20, <laughs> that part. But when I started in the game in 2006, people weren't opening up resources. It was so competitive. And I was like, damn, I just want to feed my family. I just want to do the work. And when I ran across my mentor, I said, I'm going to do everything this man told me to do. He say, do a post on Monday. I'm doing a post on Monday. Matter of fact, I'm asking him, what time should I do the post? How many of them should I do? And then help ask him, "Can what do you think I should post? So it was following the direction and the blueprint. So it's one thing to say, you know what? I want to get money. I want to get opportunities. I want to get fame. I talk to people all the time. My business with Activate is about visibility. People come to me because they say, Lucinda, I'm at this point, but I need to get my voice out there to more people. I want to make greater impact and I need visibility. That's the main word. And I say, well, what have you done for you lately? Oh, you didn't, you didn't set up a YouTube channel. I don't care if you don't, if you have two followers, did you set up a YouTube channel? No. Did you do anything online besides just show cupcakes that you made and your child going to school for the first day of school? Let's sip on that for a second. So it's, we have to look at, are we doing the work? So you have three left that you should focus on three ask that you have to focus on before the year is out. And so what I want you to do now is on those three that you have left, put 30 next to one, 60 next to one, and 90 next to the other. 30, 60, 90. Do this quickly, quickly, quickly. When you're done, type done. Quickly. All right. The one that you have, uh, that you put 30 next to, that 30 days, you have 30 days, work it out. Work it out with the E, work it out. 60 days, the next 60 days, you work that one out. So by October, you should be busting out one goal. By November, you should be busting out another goal. And by December, you should bust out the last one, right? We want, we want 30, 60, 90, type that in. I need to see if you're paying attention. 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, 90. So each one of these ask, you're going to go and going, you're going to ask for support, ask, seek, and knock, ask, seek, and knock for your 30, ask, seek, and knock, tap into your network right here to get the job done, ask, seek, and knock. We have not because we what? Ask not. So I need you to ask. I need a volunteer who's willing to show, come on screen. We don't care if you don't got your wig on and your lashes, but I need a volunteer to come on screen with me real quick so we could do a quick exercise. I want to show you what happens when we get our ask together. Who's willing to come in? Say me. Say it's my time. It's my time. And if you don't come on, that's fine. I know somebody else who's hungry, willing, and able to get it done. Don't hit me in my DM later on and ask me what was the assignment because it doesn't work like that. This requires you to be uh, to show up, to take risk, and to do it scared. Mm -hmm. 
All right. I see we have we have a volunteer. The team is going to add her to um, the screen with me, and we're going to have some fun. Those of you who didn't get a chance to come on, just say it's my time. You're still going to learn something from here. You're still going to learn something from here. All right, let's add her in. I don't know, is that something I have to do or they have to do? I don't know how this works on the back end. I'm gonna just stay obedient in the meantime. Okay, Leticia, Lati, hey boo. Hey, I can't wait to see your face. Let me see your face, let me see your face. We gotta make a connection. It's not letting me, hold on. Oh crap, you hush. I knew this was gonna happen. I've clicked on the camera, but it's not doing anything. It says your the camera is unavailable because it aired me. Mm. Not sure. It says you have air me permission. So I guess yeah, and I click on it, but it still has a go to the top. A little there's a little lock button next to air me at the top, like in your browser. It may be in there, and then. Allow it like some pop ups or, or things, something like that. Right, Lakeisha? I think if you go to that little, it'll show a little lock button right where your browser is at. If you click on it, it'll say give permission. It'll say camera allow, microphone allow, notifications allow. Hmm. Click, click the lock. It's right in the browser. So it's a little lock. Then it's airmeet.com forward slash event forward slash a bunch of stuff. So you'll see two arrows, a refresh button, a little house, and then you'll see a little lock. It's in the address bar. Yeah, I'm clicking it. It's not doing anything. It's bringing down the little box, but it's empty. You can get someone else. It's okay. I don't want to hold you all up. Okay. Wait, you have to give permission to air me. Okay. All right, let's let's try someone else. If not, we coming back to you, Letitia, because if it's an issue for the next person, then don't worry about it. Okay, Denisha Duffy. Are we we requesting you, Denisha? Make sure you are able to put your camera on and your microphone. Uh, okay, Francesca, so you see the address bar? Can you allow microphone then manage? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's get this ready. All right. So we need full audience participation working in this exercise. I do it live, but we're going to do it by special request from Cole. You know, she wants, listen, she's like, oh, Oprah, Auntie O. So when she asks, we make it happen. But um, so tell me, what is one of your big asks? What is one of your big asks that matters to you most right now? Oh, um, okay. One, uh, need to fix my credit. Okay. And why would you want to fix your credit to do what? Um, we're going to go through. Well, so I'm going to, I'm all I'm going to say is why, and you just going to give me an answer. Okay. So okay. Credit is, I want another car. Okay. Why, why, did, why else do you want to fix your credit? Um, because I want to be able to, um, do some other investing as well. All right. Why do you want to fix your credit? Um, because I, 
I need more money. I want to use other people's money outside of my own. Okay. Why? Why else do you want to fix the credit? Because I, I know that it's going to allow me to do, to have other opportunities. Okay. Like, like what? Um, just other opportunities I could present to my family. Okay. Now we're talking to your family. Yes. Okay. We're on the fifth why. Why else do you, why else do you want to present other opportunities to your family? Why would you need to fix, why do you want to fix your credit? Okay, so I also want to be able to help my brother with his businesses, and I think that that would also be another investment as well. Okay, why you want to help your brother? Why other opportunities for your family? Why you want to fix your credit? Uh, because I want to. I feel like I'm the first in my family to, to break the cycle. Mm -hmm. And why your brother? Why his business? Why? Because I know that. He, go ahead. Because I know that it's going to be successful. Um, it's it's in a different industry okay but you want to fix your credit so that you can help him be successful but what else you said your family and you said your brother you said opportunities for your family the first in your family but why why does that matter i feel like because i owe this out of myself we only okay. get one life okay but why because i'm tired of living the way i've been living thank you comfortable now Okay, and what are you tired of? Uh, I'm tired of just making do, you know? I want to be able to relax. Okay. And I want to be able to take time off. Okay, and taking time off, why Why do you want to take time off to relax? So that I can recuperate and come back stronger. Okay, and recuperate and come back stronger, but why? Why would you want to recuperate, come back stronger, and relax? What are you tired of? Because... I'm just tired altogether. Okay. Tired of? And tired why, of why working. You, okay. And, and okay. So why else do you want to fix your credit to for your brother and his business, the first in the family, um, allowing other opportunities, um, tired of the way that you're living, you're ready to relax, but, but why? Because I've been doing this for 10 years and it's just getting to be, I'm not going to say a headache, but I question it, you know, from time to time, because again, I am tired. I feel like I'm at a soul tired. Mm, okay. So you're And so also, let me just add, I want to fix my credit also too, to advance my own business, you know? Mm -hmm. That sounds like more work, not relaxation, but why else? Why else do you want to fix your credit? But I love it. This is your why's. These are your reasons why. So, um, why else? Just give me two more. Um, because I'm thinking about retirement. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't want to be working during retirement. I want to be able to retire. That's something I've never seen within my family. Hmm. Now we're talking. Okay. So everybody is a workaholic. They've been working till the day they die. Basically, yes. Okay. And you're tired of seeing that and tired of living it? Yes. Okay, so we're going to go through your needs, right? We went through the, what you're tired of. So your reasons why, one, you wanted, you started off with the car, you started off with investing, then you said you, just because you need some more money, but that wasn't deep enough. It got to some more truth about just allowing your family to have other opportunities. It sounds like you want to create something that will change your family, right? And fixing your credit is the beginning of it. But what's more important is you mentioned your brother's business and giving him opportunities because you want to see him successful, right? right. Then it said that you wanted to be, um, you're tired of living the way that you're living. You're ready to relax and recoup. You're looking to retire. Three powerful words, relax, recoup, and retire. Then you said that you are been working this 10 years. Your soul is tired. Sounds like even your brain is tired. You're tired of even thinking, right? Then yes. Looking to advance your life. And you your family has never even seen what retirement is. That's a huge why. And and it's still what's funny about this is when we get to the bottom of your truth of your why, it's still a lot of work. Right. And what you're talking about and what you're doing is still a lot of work. But what do you need right now to make this change? Let's go through these oh. needs. So I'm going to say I don't even want you to think too hard. Because you seem like an overanalyzer. I want you to just, just give me one word or two words. Nothing too long and drawn out, which you have done. But especially when it comes to your needs. I'm going to say, what do you need? 
You're going to say, I need this. I'm going to say, what do you need? And now you're going to say this. And I want you to dig deep on what your needs are. Right. It all makes sense. So credit is just the surface of what you what you're saying that you need. But this it, let's let's get to it. So what do you need? Money. What do you need? Time. What do you need? Rest. What do you need? A support system. What do you need? Oh. Creativity. What do you need? Discipline. What do you need? Accountability. What do you need? Nice. Uh, love. Come through. What do you need? Yes. Um, support. You said that. What do you need? Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, I don't have anything else. Of course you do. What do you need? It's something you need. Don't and if it's you feel like it's well, hard. I still need my other car. Okay. What do you need? Um, my I like a, a mortgage. You need a mortgage. Well, I would like a mortgage. I'm tired of renting. Ask for a mortgage. I want a free home. Well, I, as opposed to renting. Mm -hmm. So you need to purchase your first home. Yes. What do you need? Friends. And what do you need? Direction. Okay. What do you need? God. There you go. And if you were to have these things that you need, what would you be able to do? Without thinking, without stressing, without worrying? I'd finally be able to take a break, a real break. And do what? And just rest, turn my brain off. And now, what does resting look like for you? If you Not were to turn my brain to, off, like this looks like rest. Me on the beach, seven days, some friends, not even thinking about anything, just enjoying on this particular island. If you were to be specific about it, what does that rest that you need now look look like? I would have to go with what you just said because I honestly don't know what it looks like. So we have. I to don't get feel there. like I know what that looks like. So let's let's get there because we can't ask for something that we don't know what it doesn't look like, right? So we're saying we want a car. If God gives us a lemon, it's like, wait a minute. I, I meant a car, but I wanted a German car with a low note, although it's a luxury car. You know, so it, 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 we have to, even if it sounds crazy to somebody else, it's still fine for us. It still makes sense, right? Um, so well, I would say let, um, my business running without me. You know, for one. Um, being able, right? You said Wait, taking. What was that? A break. You said taking a yes. break, taking a yes. break, and rest for me looks like rest for Francesca looks like what? Just taking time doing things that interest me without feeling rushed. What kind of things? Because we want to. Here's the thing, Francesca. Your body will continue to stay at an unrest until you can show it what it can possibly have. So you'll continue to work it, but, and you won't get to see what that is. We won't know how to support you if you don't tell us what you need and what it looks like. So at some place, Francesca has to say, am I saying your name right? Mm -hmm. Francesca point, yes. has to say, listen, I, for me, rest looks like having a team working on my business, volunteers, support, helping to build the business. I don't have to be there. An attorney building an estate for my family so that we can create these LLCs and have it under this estate. Um, it rest looks like for me, I'm able to take a vacation every 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 quarter and I'm able to go to these islands. This I, I want to go to uh, Bali. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Florida. I, and I just want to sit there. One of these trips, I need to just have me. One is for me and my boo. The other one is for me and my family. And the other one is a girl's trip. So it's really getting specific because if the gift shows up in your lap, you'll completely miss it because you'll say, oh, I would like to do that. Oh, that looks like fun. Wow. Is that possible? I'm so, I'm, and you'll be proud of everybody else getting what they need not realizing that you need the same damn thing. 
but you just haven't written it down and you just haven't crafted for your own self what you need. Like I have to say, Lucinda, what does this look like for you? I, and what it looked like for me is I'm I'm tired of being the strong one. I'm tired of being the assistant, the marketer, the PR person, the event planner. I'm tired. That was exhausting me. I just want to think and not even think if I don't have to. I want to take multiple trips and know that business is still running. I want to position my brand. And this is these are the things that I desired. I, I want you to create a lifestyle business from here on out. You have a team of women here who are willing to help you. And if you tell us exactly what you need, I guarantee you out of the 50 to 100 people who are watching are willing to say yes. So people have already responded and said they want to be your friend. That's just that's your network. Connect with them. You said that you need rest. What does that look like? What does taking a break look like? What does building your business? Probably an attorney here who can assist you. If we have an, if someone has an attorney or know of an attorney who helps to build, build family estates. So from here on out, no one past Francesca. She's the first in her family who's going to create a family estate. Can someone in here type in the lawyer and the attorney that she can speak to to get some answers on creating this, not just for her brother, but for the rest of their family, those who are not even born yet? Let's see. Let's see if someone knows an attorney. Okay. Portia says she can help you build your credit. Write Portia's name down. Thank you. Does someone have a, um, a, a timeshare, a place that she can go to sit back and think for her own that you can support her with taking a rest and relaxing? We need an attorney. We need a place for her to go. Okay, boom. You get a support. Oh. Wow. Okay. Have a gift for her to a travel voucher. Love it. Oh, wow. A vacation retreat in PR. Let's go. Okay, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Let's keep going. So you also mentioned the things that you needed some creativity. Is there anyone in here who is good with creativity to support her, not just with coming up with stuff, but helping her to become a great finisher at the same time and can also support her with getting maybe a VA. You can get a VA for a coins on a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Portia says she can also help you with the mortgage and connecting you with someone to make it happen. Does anyone have any resources for first time homeowners? Because now this changes some of your ask. Because here's the thing. We think, oh, well, how can I afford a house? That's oh not cool about mm -hmm. the how. Someone says she's a realtor in Baton Rouge. You have a lot of support here. Someone's willing to do graphic design. So you're going to go through this chat and screenshot all of this support. Anyone who can support with the car who's familiar with helping her get a car, good credit, bad credit, no credit, but they're not going to rape her pockets. Does anyone know someone in a dealership? Oh, oh my goodness. Anybody? Okay. What I'm so overwhelmed, y'all. Because being the first in your family means a lot to you. You've mentioned family four times in your why. And now your needs you mentioned so much support and love, uh, rest, time, friends, direction. I don't know. So you have your homework is to reach out to each and every one of these people. And all I ask for those people who said that they can support you. If you're willing to do this and lend her a hand pro bono where you can, please do so. Because sometimes we just have to help. When we help someone else get their ass together, believe it or not, it helps you get your ass together at the same time. And it's not our fault that we have been giving to people who don't deserve it most of the time. But when we have someone here whose mission and drive is about her family, 
and she's looking for some rest, we don't want her to have a nervous breakdown. We don't want her to be overwhelmed to where she can't do what she needs to do. And now the people growing up in her family can no longer get what they need and they just follow the work trail. So we have to push her to do something different and be something different than what she's groomed to see. And I guarantee you just like that, it happens for you. So if you said yes to her in any form or fashion, please follow through. She has the next 90 days to make this happen. And the clock is ticking. So these are your non-negotiables. And like I said, if you can offer support, no cost, great. If you could, hey, I'm going to put you on the phone with this. My brother, he owns a car dealership. He's going to walk you through the process. Great. So I want you to just take some of your power back, Francesca. We're going to take some of our power back. And I want you to receive, say, I take my power back. You ready? I take my power back. I take my voice back. I take my voice back. I take my time back. I take my time back. I take my love back. I take my love back. And I'm ready to receive. And I'm ready to receive. That's it. That's all we want to do. That's all we want to do is support you. And you said accountability. Someone who can hold her accountable and get on her nerves to get things done. I mean, get on her nerves, making sure she booked the flight. Tell me where she's ending up traveling to, and I will help you with getting the, the one way there. You get your way back, but I'll pay for you to get there. You hear me, Francesca? Yes, ma'am. I hear you. I want, I want you to get the rest, and that is my word to you. I get you okay. there. You got to get yourself back. Okay, and I've been that's fine. I don't want to know if you vax or unvax. Listen, I don't want to know your business, but I traveled for, for these past two pandemic years almost. All right. So, you know, it, you could travel. You good. So okay. I'm here. I'm here. You got your one way on me. And I want you to make sure that you give Lila in here or Lakeisha your address. I'm going to give you a copy of my book, The Big Ask. You take this with you on your trip. You read it in advance. And I just need you to have, that's why I say get your voice back. Because enough is enough. It's non-negotiable. Your rest is non-negotiable. You're not going to be a workaholic. We declare that right now. You're not going to be a workaholic. You're not going to die working your knuckles off until your brain drop, fries up. No. Okay. I'm not going to your- be a workaholic. You're not going to be a workaholic. Money flows to you with ease. Opportunities come to you with ease. I, I, I told myself, I said, I want to be an easy millionaire. That's it. An easy millionaire. That's it. I just want to show up and do what I do and get paid for it. That's it. And we have to declare that because it's a lot of things I want for my family. But I said, I need to get it for me first. So if I become an easy millionaire, now we sit at the family table and we talk about the conversation. That's what the wealthy do. They sit their family down once or twice a year. They have a conversation on who's working on what. And now they can come to you, but mm -mm, you're not going to break your back or your neck. Mm -mm, Nope, 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 nope. So I thank you for participating. Make sure you reach out to me, Lila or Lakeisha. Make sure that we stay connected. But I'm your biggest supporter, your biggest fan. You got this. I just need to give you, I want you to give yourself some grace. Yes, ma'am. Give yourself some grace. All right. Thank you. Bye, millionaire. Family changer. Wealth builder, <laughs> generational curse breaker, come through now. Listen, I am. will not be broke and they will not be workaholics. Nope. Nothing but success. Thank you. All right. I love you and I don't even know you. <laughs> so I believe my time is up with this, but we have to get into a position to understand you have your 30, 60, 90, work hard on it, get a copy of this book. If you don't have a copy, listen, reach out, Lila, Lakeisha, DM me. You'll be able to get a copy of this book. I need you to get your minds right. You could get all the money in the world, but if this brain is broke, forget about it. I love you. Lakeisha, am I done? You are done. You got us all over here crying. Edge is gone. I mean, listen. Listen. They wasn't ready. And I wasn't going to tell them nothing. I was like, oh, she got a treat for y'all. That's why I, I wasn't going to say <laughs> nothing. But y'all, Miss Lucinda, first, let me just say thank you for always showing up for us 
and always showing us how to activate. And I know some of y'all was like, oh my gosh, this seems intense, but it was worth it. Look at all of the stuff now that Fancy is going to get. If you have promised anything to Fancy, please reach out to me or Lila. I will get it to Fancy. I know she's overwhelmed right now. Miss Lucinda, I, I just can't say thank you enough for just the love and all of that that you have shown, it is amazing. So y'all sit tight. I'll be back to close us out. <laughs>